Hello my 3D printer friends. I'm sitting here with the Creality Ender 3 version 3 SE and the Creality Ender 3 version 3 KE. And we are going to talk about belt tensioning. In the past, Ender printers did not come with tensioners. You had to physically unscrew components and yank on them to tighten or loosen the belt tension. As Enders evolved, they began shipping with tensioners. This was a knob that you would turn to tighten the tension or to relax the tension. This was a very important step forward in the design of 3D printing that allowed us to quickly and easily adjust and correct the tension on our 3D printers. Fast forward a few years with the arrival of the version 3s, they are mysteriously missing tensioner knobs. This is an interesting choice that I don't agree with. Perhaps this is because the new generation of 3D printers require a lot less manual configuration by the user, or perhaps it's a conscious visual design feature in order to portray a more advanced, easier to use modern 3D printer. That said, belt tension is something you should be aware of, and adjusting that belt tension is something you should understand how to do. There is some belief that the version 3s do not include belt tensioners. However, that is incorrect. Both models do indeed come equipped with two belt tensioners, and today I am going to show you where they are and how to use them. The version 3 SE and version 3 KE are identical, so going forward with this demonstration, I will be using the KE. Those of you with the SE will find the process identical. The first tensioner we will adjust is the hot end, and you will find that tensioner right here on the left side of the machine. That tensioner is this screw right here. Your printer will include an Allen key that fits that tensioner. Using this tensioner is quite simple. Simply place your Allen key into the screw, turn it clockwise to tighten, counterclockwise to loosen. Clockwise will pull on that belt, counterclockwise will release pressure on that belt. With your key in the screw and your hand on the hot end, clockwise to tighten, move the hot end back and forth. Counterclockwise to loosen, move the hot end back and forth. The hot end should move firmly but smoothly. When you are content with how it feels, leave it be and run your printer. If your belt is slipping during printing, you will need to tighten that belt. If the hot end is noisy and sounds uncomfortable during printing, you may need to loosen that belt. Generally speaking, a firm, springy, trampoline-like belt that feels firm but not overly tight and not overly loose will be acceptable. This brings us to tensioner number two, which is the bed tensioner, and it is right here. It's right here, and the adjustment screw is right here in the back of the KE or the SE. Before we touch this screw, check this screw, make sure it's snug. Here in the back is the tensioner screw. On the SE and KE, it's more of an installation screw than a tensioner screw. Turning it left will loosen this tensioner. However, unlike other machines where the tensioner remains stable, the tensioner on the SE and KE becomes loose. Also, on previous Ender tensioners, the tensioner allows you to tighten it so much so that the belt can actually become too tight, even tight enough to stop the bed or break a belt. The tensioner on the KE and SE will not allow this. When fully tight, you will notice the tensioner is solid and the belt is firm but still loose. Those of you with older enders with beds on palm wheels will still find this bed to feel much looser than they're used to, even when properly tensioned. I suspect tension may vary across various people's machines. On my SE and KE, I find that tightening this screw until it stops and the tensioner is solid is the best result for me. And unless you see something different with your build, I suggest you do this as well. You will notice with a fully tightened tensioner screw, the tensioner is solid and the bed has smooth free movement. And there you have it the basics behind adjusting your belt tension on the Creality Ender 3 version 3 SE and KE. Hey.